Following on from the previous two videos, we use Riemann's upper and lower sums to uh, to track this thing in between this and this. So uh, so this thing here is our partial series from one to capital N. So now we need to take the limit as capital N tends to infinity. So the minute we take the limit as capital N tends to infinity, this thing here will then become will then become will then become this n equals one all the way to infinity. So, so currently we are here, we now need to take the limit, we, we now need to allow n to head all the way to infinity. The minute we allow capital N to head towards infinity, this thing here will then become this. And this is what we're interested in. Um, it is this that we're interested in. So hang on. So from the previous two videos, we trapped this in between this and this. So now, now allow, um, allow capital N to head towards infinity. So hang on. So now, uh, now allow capital N towards to head towards in infinity. Then, 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 then our partial series will no longer be our partial series. It will be our whole series now from one to infinity. So, uh, so the minute we allow capital N to head towards infinity, we are no longer dealing with uh, with our partial series. We are now dealing with our whole series from one all the way to infinity. So this this was what we were after. Or right from the start. So anyway, we now know that this thing um, is trapped in between here and in between here. Now, the minute you you allow n to head towards infinity, this thing here will I, well, if this thing here diverges, if this thing here diverges, then, then, then it will automatically mean that this thing here will also diverge. And then this thing here will also Diverge. Remember, right from from video one, uh, right from video one, we were trying to show that uh, that if if this area here converges, then the then this then the uh, then the series will also converge. If this area here diverge, then the series itself will also diverge. That was from video one. So now uh, now if you look at this, hang on. So currently we currently if you take the um, if you allow capital N to head towards infinity, if this thing here, if the area underneath the line converges, then it will automatically mean this will converge, and it will automatically mean this will also converge. If uh, if this thing here diverge, then then it will mean that this thing here will also diverge, and it will also mean this thing here will diverge. Because if you think about it, as n heads towards infinity, meaning n. So if you if you look at the area from from one to let's say nine 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 nine, nine a very a very very big number because n is heading towards infinity. Then then if if you if you it doesn't matter if this is uh I don't know eight hundred and ninety seven and this is this is eight hundred and ninety six. This this thing here is one less than the hang on. The, the this thing this thing here is one less than this. It doesn't matter if it's one less because it's if this thing here diverges, then this will also diverge, and this will also diverge. Um, if this thing here converge, then this will converge, and this will converge. Okay, so now, hang on. Now, if, if this thing here, if this thing here converges, then, uh, uh, then, then, hang on, hang on. If, if this thing here converges, then, then, then you would look at this bit here. If this thing here, if this thing here converges, it will mean that this thing here, Will converge now. A A one. Remember, A one is our 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 number. A one is A one is this area here. It's going to be a number. It's just going to be a number. So if this thing here converges, then you when you're adding a, a number to the, to what's converging, then the whole thing here will converge. So because A is going to be a a number, this thing here converges. So so therefore, this whole thing here will converge. Now, if this thing here converges. This whole thing here converge. Let's forget about this for the time being. Now this thing here being always bigger or equal to this thing here. If this thing here converges, if this thing here converges, this being always less than or equal to must also converge. So therefore this will converge. So so um, if, if this thing here diverge, if this thing here diverge, forget about this bit. If this thing here diverge, then um, then this being always be, if if this thing here is always bigger or equal to this thing, if this thing here diverge, then um, if this thing here diverge, then this 
being uh, being bigger or equal to has, has to also diverge. So the point here is that if this thing here converge, then this thing here will uh, will also converge. If this thing here will diverge, then this thing here will will also diverge. They 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 are on par with each other. This thing is all um is always on par with this thing. If this thing here diverge, then this will diverge. If this thing here converge, then this will converge. Because, hang on, let me repeat it one more time. Um, if this thing, uh, if this thing here converges, then 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 have a look at this thing here. Forget about this. If this thing here converge, then it will mean that this whole thing here com will converge. So uh, so so if this thing here converge converge here. Yeah, then, then, then our, our our series being less than will also have to converge. If this thing here diverge, now now look at this. Forget about this. If this thing here diverge, then if, if this thing here diverge, then uh, then if this thing here diverge, then this being bigger, being bigger or equal to this thing here must also diverge. It can't it can't cross over like this because 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 this thing here has to always be bigger than this thing here. So I hope you can follow that. Um, yeah, I hope you can follow that.